Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where we talk about the things we love like gaming, shows, and anime. Today I'm going to talk about the Age of Ultron movie. As you read the title of the video, yes, I think the movie was a disappointment. Do I think the movie sucks? Hell no, it was great. I enjoyed the movie from beginning to end. The action scenes were great, the comedy was great, the dialogue was great, everything about the movie was great. So then, what was it that disappointed me about the movie? Well, let's begin the list and find out why, starting with... Number 10, Quicksilver's Death. The studio's reason to why they killed him off was one of the stupidest reasons. In fact, I'm not completely sure to the details, but what has been said is that just because Quicksilver is in the movie and in X-Men Days of Future Past, then they have a problem. Quicksilver first showed up in X-Men Days of Future Past and then in Avengers 2, but since Marvel's studio already intended on having Quicksilver, they refused to let him go from the movie. So they came to an understanding and agreed to kill him off since he first came out in X-Men Days of Future Past. And since they are planning on connecting both the characters from Marvel Studios with the characters of X-Men which are owned by Fox Studios, possibly onto the movie of Captain America Civil War, then they couldn't include both versions. But here's where both companies fuck up. Chris Evans plays both Captain America and the Human Torch from Fantastic Four, so both universes wouldn't work. Is that why Marvel Studios is coming up with their own version of Fantastic Four? But then another problem comes in mind. The Human Torch in the new Fantastic Four movie is played by an African American actor. But isn't he supposed to be Sue, the Invisible Woman's sister? What are they going to ruin their background story and say that he's adopted? Jeez, Marvel, make up your fucking mind. The same problem goes with Quicksilver. His sister lives, and she knows her brother dies, so how are they going to bring back another Quicksilver with two Scarlet Witches if they intend on bringing Scarlet Witch from X-Men Days of Future Past from Fox Studios' version if, in, if there is one? Or are they just going to pull off a Fox Studios move and completely ignore it like they did with every problem that the X-Men movies have? I don't know, but I doubt they'll look into it. Number 9, Ultron's Personality Many of you know about him and for sure you were hyped about seeing him on the big screen. And the trailer definitely showed us what we wanted. But after seeing the movie, I couldn't help the fact that Ultron seemed to be the exact same as Loki. Think about it, they both have an evil scheme that they reveal out loud, they're both the humorous villain type, and they both get dominated by each Avenger except for Black Widow. The problem here is that Ultron was not supposed to be anything like this. He always seemed more like the Terminator to me, being mostly quiet and whenever he does talk, it's always some strong dialogue. I'm not saying that his dialogue was boring in the film, it really feels like Marvel is becoming more kid friendly. That's probably why Marvel should not have joined with Disney. They toned down what should not have boundaries. I know that mostly it's Tony Stark's fault on why Ultron was born, but that has nothing to do with having the same personality as him. Again, this feels like Disney's fault. But we already have humorous characters, there's no need for including another. It's like how in the early Batman films, everybody loved Jack Nicholson's portrayal as the Joker, so they made Two-Face, the Riddler, and Mr. Freeze act like the Joker. It just didn't work. Here, it may have worked, but to say they nailed it? I don't think so. I mean, just because it worked with Loki being the humorous villain, should not have been something they should have tried with Ultron of all characters. Number 8. Reasons why they fight. Did the heroes really need to know that Hawkeye has a family in order to realize why they need to fight? Were they fighting for the thrill all along? It seems like they've forgotten why they became the Avengers in the first place. They did give us a little bit of details leading up to Captain America's third film being the Civil War, and sure that's nice and all, but come on! Why hide when the enemy is the one hiding from you? Go out there and kick his ass! 
And if they say they can't find him, then have Thor ask Heimdall to point him out. Number 7. Ultron's Belief The movie version of Ultron brushed off his thoughts making him insane. They should have elaborated more on it like have the heroes ask if Ultron truly is saving the world. Maybe he can't be saved as long as humanity lives, but no. Let's just stick to the fact that he's a bad guy so that the children know who to root for. Number 6. Ultron's Army What happened here? Just because Iron Man was somewhat the creator, they made Ultron's army be a bunch of Iron Man suits with its lock on turned off? They may have changed their looks towards the end of the movie, but they weren't any different. They were all super weak. As weak as the previous army that Loki brought with him. Why not make them like they should have been? Small versions of Ultron and hard to kill. I mean, a fucking bullet can penetrate them. Even arrows! Number 5. Vision. Jarvis as Vision was creative and I did like that to be honest. But that killed most of Vision's background. It made him immediately be a good guy instead of debating which side to take like how it should have been. By saying this, I'm not trying to say that he looks bad or that he sucks because I like him. Like I said, he's an awesome character and they portrayed him well in the movie. But they should have had him get more in depth with the idea of joining either the good guys or the bad guys or stay neutral. Number 4. Ultron's Intelligence he should have nuked the city instead of lifting the city to make it float like in Ninja Turtles 3 Manhattan Project. Thanks, Disney. Number 3. Ultron's Strength Ultron was incredibly weak. I mean, what happened here? Was this really supposed to be a bigger threat than the previous Avengers movie? He was constantly getting his ass kicked. Yet another thing he shares with Loki is... He gets defeated every time he faces an Avenger. Ultron isn't supposed to be like that. He's the one that should be making the good guys retreat. Instead, here he either gets destroyed or has to retreat. I mean, for fuck's sake, there's a part where he gets in a jet and starts shooting at Hawkeye. That's like saying Superman is getting his ass handed to so he grabs a machine gun to defend himself with it. It's pathetic coming from the almighty Ultron. Why didn't they give him the adamantium skin metal to make him in indestructible like he should have? But if any of you disagree with this, let me remind you that this Ultron, he gets thrown around like a ragdoll by the Hulk. And if you remember in animated films with Hulk vs. Ultron, Ultron defeats him easily. He only loses if, he, if he's not concentrated on fighting him. Number 2. Ultron was good. Ultron was supposed to be good in the beginning. The comics and animated series show that he's a good guy from the start. Then, as he began to think for himself, he slowly became evil. But the movie says, nope. He was evil at birth. Number 1. Age of Ultron. The Age of Ultron came too soon. It's cool to see him on the big screen and all, but this could have solved all the other problems if Ultron was made in the second movie as a good guy, then became evil in the third Avengers movie. And if they forcefully wanted to make the Avengers 2 movie about him, then make him fucking powerful. Don't give us the same shit that happened in the previous Avengers movie. And like I said, I enjoyed both Avengers movies, but this one felt no different than the first. But the thing that pisses me off the most is that the trailer made him look like he was going to be the biggest threat that anyone had ever faced so far. I mean look at the trailer. It shows us Ultron being made, looking like his metal skin was adamantium. They show us Captain America's shield broken. Bruce Banner looking all traumatized. I thought he got his ass kicked by Ultron when we saw him in that fetal position with the blanket. Then Ultron giving us that awesome powerful speech and the Avengers looking at him in fright. Then having people running away and the Scarlet Witch screaming. I know we were all thinking the same thing here, but no. It was kind of like the Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines where it looked like the movie was about to be about the war and it wasn't. 
it was a good movie, but they didn't give us what we were hoping for. So yeah, The Avengers 2 Age of Ultron was a good movie, but I think we already saw the same thing happen in the previous Avengers movie. Which it ain't bad, but I still prefer watching the first one more than the second movie. Now before I end this video, I just want to say, remember how at the end of the first Avengers movie, Thanos appeared, making it look like he was going to be the villain for the next Avengers movie, but wasn't? Then at the end of Avengers 2, Thanos appeared again, making it look like he's going to be the next villain. But since we were tricked in the first time, you think they'll do it again? I'd like to know everyone's opinion on this. But anyways, that's it for the top 10 list. I hope you enjoyed the video, if so, put a thumbs up. And if there were any other reasons why the movie disappointed you or you disagree, let me know about them in the comments. And if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll let you know when I post up more videos on my top 10 lists. This is Score saying have an awesome day.